During the Civil War, the governor of Massachusetts was John Andrew, an ardent abolitionist and a member of the Republican Party. The cause was deeply felt by people in Massachusetts, particularly when the war became a war of emancipation. After the attack on Fort Sumter, Lincoln called for 75,000 volunteers to put down the rebellion, and Massachusetts was one of the first states to send men. On April 19, 1861, men from the 6th Massachusetts Infantry were attacked viciously by a pro-secessionist mob. They were the first in Union Blue to shed blood. Other famous regiments emerged from Massachusetts. The 28th Massachusetts became part of the famed Irish Brigade. The 20th Massachusetts, known as the Harvard Regiment. And of course, there was the 54th Massachusetts, the first African-American regiment to be officially recruited by the Union Army after the Emancipation Proclamation was issued. Massachusetts was also the home to several significant generals of the Civil War, including Joseph Hooker, Darius Couch, Benjamin Butler, and Edwin Sumner. Other prominent Massachusetts residents who played a role in the Civil War included women, particularly Dorothea Dix and Clara Barton, who worked alongside relief agencies to help promote proper medical care for the men that they attended. By 1865, close to 150,000 Bay Staters served in the Union Army and Navy, 14,000 of them giving the ultimate sacrifice. Among those killed during the Civil War was Paul J. Revere, grandson of the famous Midnight Rider, Paul Revere. In western Massachusetts at the Springfield Armory, thousands of Springfield rifles were manufactured that went into the hands of Union troops. In Chicopee, Massachusetts was the Ames Manufacturing Company, which manufactured most of the heavy ordnance for the Union Army. Like the beacon it was during the American Revolution, Massachusetts provided men, materiel, moral, and home front support to an effort that was waged to end slavery by 1865. And when the war ended, many residents of the Bay State worked very hard to see that the fruits of their labor became reality.